Okay, Tatampati here is a carpenter. He's the one that taught me carpentry when I was in high school. And uh, now he's in charge of the lumber mill here. And uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions. Tatampati, Inki Betvasala, Nantanguya, Sieri Vandaka, Ve, Nantangu and Tama, Nakuswama Baya, Inki Betvanda Sala. Nantangu and Tama. He says that uh, when, uh, before the sawmill, they used to dig a hole under a log and that they would uh, cut the logs with a, with a saw, cut, cut boards with a saw. Uh, uh, and Ten years ago, when they had a, a construction project, they used to go and buy lumber at other sawmills, but those sawmills uh, no, are no longer functioning. It was a, a real big uh, hassle to have to drive with the truck to, to get lumber. And Ntangwe ay betuke na mabaya isi surplus. Ntangwe ay betuke na mabaya isi surplus. Ma meble antete betume sala ya item. Betume sala ba ban ya item. Yeah, he says that uh, one of our first projects was making benches, uh, desks, benches for the schools here at Kikongo. He mentioned specifically the nursing school. And, uh, and then they started building uh, other th furniture. And he says that every house here at Kikongo has some furniture that's uh, come from the sawmill and it's uh, now our whole region is benefiting from the the lumber mill. Uh, this man here had a boat uh, recently built that we put uh, in the water. Musala nini to sali pona yo na mikolo oyo. Puske a partir a seri to zu to ko 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 zo ma kamunyo to ko ko zo barnie to ko zo nani ba ba kok he says because of the lumber mill, we're able to build boats. He, he mentioned the balinier, it's what they call a whale boat, uh, and also uh, smaller boats. Uh -huh. So he came here, he's a visitor, he came here to have the boat built right here at Kikongo. And, so, and other people will also follow once they hear that uh, lumber's being cut here and boats are being built uh, right here. Uh, it's a big, uh, big project. It helps everybody. Yeah, Mr. Muloko used to be a teacher, and now he's uh, in charge of uh, uh, the work crew down here. And uh, people, when they would finish school, there were no jobs for them. But uh, this way, we're able to uh, employ people. Carpenters are, are, are benefiting from it. People in the villages are bringing logs down, they get paid for the logs that they bring and then they can get a percentage of the lumber and uh, have uh, things made for them, uh, chairs, tables, uh, beds, doors. Uh, uh, he's also saying uh, for, for funerals, for burying people. It's uh, honor, uh, burying people, you have to bury somebody with honor and if you can bury someone in a wooden coffin it brings uh, uh, great, uh, great honor. I have also Pastor Buwawa here, he's the technical uh, expert here when anything mechanical uh, we refer to him and he's uh, in the process of sharpening uh, the blades for the sawmill and I'm going to ask him how the sawmill has helped the church here Pastor Muwa wa inki mutindu proje a siyari ya yolenda kusarisa dibundu nandambu ya itolu zingi ya kiklisto Bon, betume remarke ki me antete ya mfunu me vandande betume mwona kelike babana na kati ya iglise yome vanda ya kufwa Yo me bukana tuka ba missionnaire en tambe bigisa 
Uh -huh. Uh, the church had uh, benches that were left by the old missionaries maybe 40 years ago and so finally we're able to repair benches and uh, even make uh, new benches uh, with the saw with the lumber from the sawmill system the sawmill also contributes a tithe to the church uh, contributes a tithe in lumber and the church has opened a, a carpentry shop so that they can use the lumber and uh, uh, make a little bit of money for the church but also uh, make uh, communion tables and uh, benches things like that that help uh, other churches in the area the pastoral students who are here often help out with the lumber mill, help out working. And uh, they're also able to uh, leave when they graduate from the pastoral school with uh, a couple of chairs, uh, some, so, some lumber, uh, because they just won't find it, uh, the places that they're going to. And uh, the church is very grateful uh, because of the uh, uh, funeral procedure for burying the dead. Uh, to, to this culture it's very important that the dead be buried honorably. And uh, before there was lumber, uh, burying people was a real problem, uh, finding how to bury people. Uh, but now that there's lumber, uh, they consider that to be uh, something really important to them. Yeah, the profits from the lumber mill go to uh, help paying the staff at the pastoral school. So probably he's saying during the time of war that we had, when there was no income in the pastoral school, students aren't able to bring uh, funding. Uh, the boards that are sold help uh, pay for the expenses of the pastoral school. And so the pastoral school has been able to stay open. Uh, largely because of the uh, the work of the the lumber mill here. Inki inki inti ya ike nazuli ya siari. What we're asking, what type of log this is on the mill? Mulundu. This is a uh, mulundu. It's a hardwood. It's good for furniture, uh, mainly for furniture making. Yo kelenti ya betke sadla ba meble. Yeah. Samuna ba meble yo kelenti mo si ambote. Uh huh. Yeah, he's uh, just a. Uh, Assuring us that it's the best wood for uh, for furniture making. Yoke ngolo. Yoke ngolo mingi. Ngolo tiki toko. Yoke gitoko mingi. It's real hard and real pretty. Yoke le gitoko mingi.